everyone, welcome back to my channel, Ciao Bella Travels. Or if we haven't been properly introduced, my name is Bella. I am a 15 year old girl traveling the world with my family. Uh, I am a full time, for fun, blogger and vlogger. Uh, I've recently been doing more YouTube videos just to get content up for you guys and hopefully it's helpful. And today, I am making homemade pasta with my mama. We're not Italian, but if we were, you know, we would fit right in because we make pasta and bread and we love Italian food, so we would definitely fit right in. So today we're making some sourdough bread and ravioli and some flat skinny noodles. So I'll bring you guys along on the journey and show you each step on how to make pasta from scratch. So the ingredients you need are pretty simple. You just need eggs, flour, water, and salt. So here you can either grab a medium-sized bowl, or if you have a mixer for the kneading, you can use the mixer bowl. And then we're just adding five cups of all-purpose white flour. We're using an organic brand from Sprouts that we really like, um, but you can also use any flour brand that you like. It doesn't really matter. And then uh, next is the salt. So we are using Himalayan pink salt. It is half a teaspoon of salt per cup of flour. So just add that into the bowl and then you can mix it up a little bit. So we are making five sheets of pasta. So we did five cups of the flour and it's half a teaspoon of salt per cup. So uh, we just did all that. And then next we're gonna put in the eggs. So it is one egg per cup of flour, so we're adding in five organic pasture-raised eggs from Sprouts again. We do most of our shopping there because they have the best organic ingredients in our opinion, at least near us. And so uh, once you add in the eggs, that is the last step, and then they go into the mixer or you need them by hand. So we just added the eggs and we put five eggs in, so it's one egg per cup. So if you're making one sheet, you obviously just do one cup of flour, one egg, and then half a teaspoon of salt. Next, add in the water. So it calls for two tablespoons of water per cup of flour that you use. So we put eight tablespoons of water just because a little extra spilled in. So it basically is 10 tablespoons of water. And then if you're using the mixer, you can get it all situated, which I highly recommend using because by hand it takes quite a while and obviously it's a lot of work, but it's great experience as well. That's how we started. But now we use the mixer and it turns out really great. So either way, you can't go wrong. And then when you see the batter start to thicken, uh, it's almost time to take it out and then knead it by hand and roll it into individual balls for the fridge. ball of dough that you uh, just made sit in the fridge for about an hour so take a little bit of olive oil and rub it on the outside and then wrap it in plastic wrap and then it's ready to go into the fridge and chill just for about an hour and then you can take it out and start rolling it out and cutting it into pasta so it's a few hours later now and we are prepping for dinner we have all the fish out actually not we they are doing the fish because I don't want to do it <laughs> They're doing lobster and scallops, and then they have the beef over there. 
and then she is peeling garlic for all of our food because when you make Italian food or Romanian food or any food, <laughs> garlic adds flavor. So lots and lots of garlic. We love garlic. And then uh, we're going to roll out the pasta in a second and cut the noodles and also ravioli. So I'm very excited to eat tonight. Everything is going to be so delicious. the dough balls sit in the fridge for about an hour uh, you can roll them out on the counter and then cut either noodles or ravioli or whatever you want to do with them uh, we're doing it like Tuscan style so we're rolling them out on the counter and then cutting thick uh, like parpadella noodles and then we're gonna boil them and have them with the meat so yeah ravioli. The filling for the ravioli is ricotta, garlic, olive oil, salt and pepper, and a little bit of mozzarella. For the ravioli, it's pretty simple. All you do is roll out the sheet of pasta and then put the filling and then flip one half onto the other and then cut it out and then you can press it in with a fork on the outside to uh, close it and there you go. Then the next step is the most simple. You just boil some water, drop in the noodles and the ravioli for about 10 minutes until they are soft. Maybe a little al dente depends on what you like and then they are finished and ready to enjoy. And then dinner was served. Fresh bread, filet mignon, and the feast. Zucchini, lobster, steak, pasta, mushrooms, scallops, and garlic, of course. We had the most incredible dinner with great friends, and I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial on how to make pasta from scratch. I really enjoyed filming it and sharing it with you guys, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.